Well, uh, good morning from St Mary's Churchyard here in uh, Upper Swainswick. Uh, I came prepared for rain this morning because my weather app said it was going to rain. Uh, it hasn't. It's much warmer this morning, but very overcast. I was at the Bantam Town yesterday, and before I forget it, I popped into uh, my doctor's practice in Pulteney Street to ask about flu vaccines, and the lady at reception said, uh, nothing's gonna happen this month. It's gonna be October at least before we start the vaccination program, which ties in with a conversation I overheard uh, in a Boots chemist shop in town where the chemist, the pharmacist, uh, said pretty much the same thing, nothing happening until October. Uh, with October in mind, good news coming out of uh, Bath Theatre Royal at last, an announcement yesterday that the, uh, I quote, curtain will soon be rising again. They're talking about an autumn season of plays between October and December. Uh, my information is uh, three plays, each running for about three weeks. Now, as far as Christmas and the panto is concerned, there's still no definite news. But I know uh, our Mr. John Money, the local star every year of the Theatre Royals panto, would certainly love to see something happening. Um, I'll let you know as soon as I hear anything. Um, Roger Houghton was reacting to my story about those new bike stands outside the Guildhall, the one with the, uh, the bolts that uh, can be undone. Um, I think Baines are looking at the whole issue and uh, deciding what to do. But uh, Roger says, at least as worrying for me, though, is that uh, following on from the tacky red street furniture in Union Street, the use of these cheap looking bike stands further suggests that Baines has abandoned any interest in creating a high quality coordinated public realm uh, with bespoke street furniture. The other issue, uh, Councillor June Player, um, her ward covers the old home base site um, she's very concerned about the loss of the central footpath through the car park with those lovely green trees. Now, there is an issue here. Save our avenue of trees, she's saying on Twitter. Now, Guild Living have bought the site. Uh, we're talking about 317 residential apartments, cinema, gym, restaurants and shops. Uh, they are a company uh, concerned about the lack of quality housing for those entering, they say, the third age, uh, we're providing later living options. We want to change the way older people will spend the third part of life. Well, I'm sure if you um, can afford to downsize and buy an apartment there, it, it sounds like a wonderful complex, uh, one that's open to uh, all generations too. But of course, in closing the site to demolish the old home base, we are going to lose what we're used to, and that centre footpath is not a public footpath. It's not designated as such, as far as I know. So obviously, if they're going to close the site, uh, we'll lose it. Um, all the illustrations for the development show lots and lots of trees, so we will certainly hold Guild Living to that, to replace uh, any trees that are taken down, cut down. Um, in the meantime, there is a walkway along the river, <clears throat> so there is a way of getting around that uh, to the Victoria Bridge. But um, I'll have a chat with uh, Councillor June Player at some point and uh, see what she has to say. Um, our, uh, our regular Rolf Oswick uh, points out that the, uh, the home base site has become the place to dump mattresses. Yes, he's, he's spotted the mattress in the corner. I saw that yesterday. And I have to say, even when it was open as home base, uh, that area, and, and indeed the, the parking area shared with Sainsbury's, has always been badly littered. 
uh, you walk around there now and it's it's disgusting basically and at least long term the Gilda Living site will uh, clean up that area and it remains for Sainsbury's to keep an eye on its area. Uh, Rolf did point out on a positive note that uh, contractors have taken the weeds out of the top um, of the, the two pylons, the, uh, the side buildings that carry the suspension bridge at the Victoria Bridge. Well, that's good news. <clears throat> they spent enough doing it up. The least they can do is look after it. Um, while we're talking about litter, um, I will put up uh, a story a bit later today about how you can get involved in the Great British September Clean Campaign. Um, it, it's organised by Keep Britain Tidy and it takes place between the 11th and the 27th of September. It's usually a, a spring event, spring cleaning, but delayed by the pandemic, of course. An opportunity for you individually or as part of a community can get out and tidy up your street. It always amazes me, and maybe it's just me, that people can live in a house and not be aware of what's outside it. Um, it's just not in my nature that if there's something dropped outside my garden wall, I'll pick it up. And if everybody did that, it would be a much cleaner place, a much cleaner environment for us all. So um, there's today's Thursday lecture. Anyway, I'm off before it rains. Whatever you're doing this Thursday, have a good one.